guys, it's Jake with the Click Tool Academy here. Today we're going to do a video that is super high requested and I know you guys want to see. If you are out there, you're familiar with Click Tool, you know how Click Tool works, you know what it's for, then you've been looking for this. This is the Click Tool campaign creation walkthrough. All right, we're going to do that today. I'm going to take you through how to create a campaign in Click Tool. If you're not using Click Tool, it's a tracking software for affiliate internet marketing. Um, if you're not tracking, you're wasting money because tracking is one of the most essential parts of becoming a successful internet affiliate marketer and you have to be doing it. You need that data. You need to understand where and what is going right and what is going wrong in your campaigns and you need to understand how to fix it in order to optimize and move forward. So let's walk through how to create a campaign using ClickTool. Totally free software. Check it out. Links in the description and we'll get going. All right, guys. Here we are, we're in Click Tool, and we're in the Campaign Creator. Um, this is the first page you're gonna see in the Creator. It's after you've gone through the onboarding process, which is pretty much like the, um, the tutorial of how to use Click Tool. So if, you, if you've done that, um, you'll get to this page, and most of your information should already be in place, but I'm gonna walk you through how to do it from scratch because we all know that we're all planning, hopefully, to not just create one campaign, we wanna create 100 campaigns that all are super profitable and amazing. So if we're starting with the onboarding and we understand it, awesome, but you're gonna to have to figure it out on your own after that. So that's really what this video is about, is walking you through the steps of creating really your second campaign because your first campaign would have been created with the, uh, the onboarding. Um, if you haven't checked that out, definitely do. It's a, it's a great, great tool uh, to introduce yourself to how tracking works. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this, so here's the first page of the campaign creator. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a name. So if we're gonna just put sample campaign here. This is the name that's gonna appear on your tracker. It's gonna be the name that you use to identify your campaign. Okay, moving on, here we have cost per click next. Cost per click is going to be the cost of each ad. So you're going to want to input, this is going to be a manually input variable. Um, we go over the difference between manually input variables, calculated variables, um, and all the different types of variables that ClickTool offers in the ClickTool Masterclass. If you're not familiar with the ClickTool Masterclass, uh, link's the first one below in the description. Definitely check it out. It's the best way on the market to learn internet affiliate marketing. Um, and if you've watched some of these videos and you've kind of checked out our content, understand that this, these videos on the Click Tool Academy YouTube page here are really just the, the tasting sample for the, um, the main course that is the masterclass. So you're gonna want to, if you really wanna get a, a full in-depth education that takes you step by step through the process from total beginner to expert affiliate marketer, that is the course for you. I would definitely look into that um, and see if you want to invest uh, your time and resources into something that, like that, that, that very well could uh, change your career, change your life, uh, do all kinds of things for you. So definitely worth checking out. Um, links in the description below. Um, moving on to the, the campaign process, campaign creation process here. First we have the cost per click. Uh, that's gonna be, let's say 35 cents here. 35 cents is a pretty reasonable price. That's gonna be, you know, every time someone clicks on an advertisement, that's how much you're gonna pay. Or that's how much, if you've already had a little bit of uh, internet marketing, Facebook marketing experience, um, this, you know, you should have an idea of what that number is. Because it's gonna range, it could range from probably on the super low end, maybe 20 cents, um, and it could go up to 80, 90 cents. So, you know, you're gonna see a lot, a lot of variance there. Who knows, maybe even higher than that. Um, depending on how specific your target interests and target audience are. If you're targeting the five people out there with a very, 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 very specific subset of interests, your ad sets, your ad, uh, your campaigns are going to cost more. Um, if you're targeting a very wide berth of people and you've managed to cleverly identify your audience, but in a way that isn't too specific, your ads are going to cost less. So that's one of those things we teach you about in the masterclass. It's um, one of the fun things and sort of really creative ways that that you can sort of. Um, adjust and manipulate your uh, target audience uh, metrics in whatever traffic source you're using. Uh, because you know, if you can think of some sort of tangential interest that is on a much broader scale, but that still equally applies to whatever your offer or service is, 
um, you can get a much lower cost per click while maintaining a very strong group of super qualified leads in your um, ad pool. Uh, so, yep, yeah, just something, a little tidbit there. Uh, moving on from cost per click, we have our traffic source. Here, let's just stick Facebook. And it's not super important. That's really just gonna be sort of a label for us in our campaign, in our click tool tracking account in general, to be able to identify exactly where certain pieces of traffic came from, certain chunks of traffic came from. Um, next, we have our query string. This is going to be your. This is going to have to do with your affiliate network. Um, so it could be an example, as the example is given, is this. So let's just put S two equals uh, click ID. There's a little symbol. And this, you know, this. Luckily, we have this button here, which is going to put that but this is going to depend you're just going to go into your affiliate network and they're going to have there's a set I think Clickbank is um, where's Clickbank Clickbank is either S2 or I, I forget but you, whatever your um, I usually just uh, will just copy and paste it <laughs> um, I, I, um, you're, you're just going to want to go into your affiliate network if you're not sure what your query string is you can just ask your um, affiliate manager pretty easy to find out and then you're just gonna to wanna to copy and paste that here. And that's just gonna, again, create another link between your affiliate network and your tracking your tracking account here in ClickTool so that everything, all the data that comes through is gonna be exactly what it's supposed to be and not misrepresent what you're doing or where your traffic is coming from or where you're sending your traffic or how your offer works or whatever. It's, you know, just making sure that the tracking software knows exactly what you're doing both on the front end and on the back end. Um, okay, moving on, we, you can have the option to look at some more advanced options. Here you're going to see this is just some more uh, query string components that you can include. If you want to uh, specify device, uh, country, region, city, all that can be done here. Although I recommend and what I do is um, I use the, um, uh, the uh, custom variable tab once you've already created your tracking campaign to to really specify what I want to track for. Because what's super cool about ClickTool, which our competitors, remember ClickTool tracking, 100% free, right? Um, after 10,000 clicks, I think it's a fraction of a cent per click, but by that point, you're already generating so much traffic that you better be making money or you're not gonna be able to maintain it for long at that point. So it's not, you know, it really is free or negligible if you're doing millions in revenue. Um, so it's, you know, it's the best in the market, but it also has features like It'll automatically, any data you send, any metadata, any details about device, region, you know, whatever you're tracking for in your traffic source. So if, let's say it's Facebook. If you were to go into the custom variables, into the um, tracking parameters there, and you were to put dynamic variables for um, the ad name and the ad, um, ad set name, it would send you all of the information labeled and, and sorted by that. And it's going to do that automatically. You don't have to filter and choose specifically what you're looking for. It's going to send everything no matter what. Um, so with our competitor volume that charges 200 bucks a month, all right, this is a service we offer for free. If you're not using tracking, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, you need to be tracking in internet affiliate marketing. Um, so many, many people are using our competitor volume who are charging 200 bucks a month for something we are offering for free right now. Um, so definitely check it out. And ours is better. Ours has, you know, we, you don't have to go in and filter your custom variables anyways. Uh, definitely check out click tool tracking link is in the description as well. Moving along, once we get past that, we're down to our paths. So our paths are going to be our is 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 a organizational structure for how we're, we're sending our traffic how it's moving through our funnels so one path could involve multiple landers and multiple offers or you could choose to have your offers divided by your paths or you could choose to have your landers divided by your paths whatever you're choosing it's all customizable it's all up to you here in click tool so it's um super easy to do super easy to follow here i have a couple of random just garbage sample uh, landers and offers that uh, I'm using here in the um, in the example. Uh, you can just sort of ignore the information. It's just random stuff. But we have the lander here, which is gonna 
show you the different landers we have. Again, this is all just sample data. You know, these are meaningless things that I've just put in to fill it out. But in theory, you would have, you know, fully written out landers here, listed here, that you've added to your click tool account. Um, to add a new lander, you can do that on the main tracking screen, or you can do that here. So you can go to add existing lander, or sorry, uh, that's how you would add another lander that, that you've already input. Or you could create a new lander, so you come here and you would type in the lander name, which would be, let's say, John Johnny Sample Lander. And this could be a lander that's a featurette that's uh, specific to one type of content unlike um, the rest, but, and then here you're gonna wanna put sample lander .com. You're gonna wanna put the URL for that lander. So this could be, you know, you, this is just one lander, it's a feature edit, it's an advertorial, you wanna test um, one headline versus another, whatever it happens to be. This is one lander, it's been uploaded, you have it on your, your webpage, you have it on your URL. Remember all this stuff, we go over the masterclass. So if you're lost, definitely check that out. Um, but this uh, sample lander, let's say, is just one of your example landers. And when you add it, you can then go here. You can select it. Let's go ahead and select it twice, actually. And now we have two, you know, you can, you're can. going to want to obviously do multiple, but now we have two versions of the same lander here, ready to test, ready to, com to, uh, to run against each other. And then moving along, you can customize even more. You can set the lander weight. That's gonna determine the amount of traffic that's being sent. If I set, for example, the first lander here down to 50, it's gonna only receive 32, 33% of the traffic. So 50, oops, it's 33% of the traffic. So it's, you know, it's one third of the time now when someone clicks on an ad, they'll be sent to this lander in this path. Of course, you'd have multiple paths in a campaign Let's go ahead and add a second path. And then you can set the path weight for that second path. But it's gonna function the same. It's sort of just another level of organization. You know, within, I deleted that second path. Um, but within this, this path, you're gonna have the same exact structure. It's just another, you know, if you, it's kind of like, imagine, what I like to think of is imagine a funnel here with water, and then it's coming down. You can set, you can split the path of water in two up here. You can split it in two down here. However, you wanna split up the water in the different paths is up to you depending on what you're trying to test for. If you're like looking for a very specific data point and you wanna really isolate it and test for it, then you can really figure out exactly what the best way to do that is uh, using the different system of paths versus landers versus offers versus different weight strategies, whatever it happens to be. Um, moving further right on the page, here you can copy your lander URL, you can duplicate it, you can edit it, you can delete it, you can do whatever you need to do. Um, the same applies for the offer. Here we have a sampler offer. Let's say this is from ClickBank. This is our protein powder that we're selling and this is gonna send them to that and every time someone clicks on this and buys the product, we're gonna get our affiliate commission. Um, again, you can test multiple offers if you uh, think you have a great marketing funnel but just the product isn't quite there. Um, you can run different offers and different paths. Whatever it happens to be, you can do it. All right, and once you've filled out all of this, uh, you'll be ready to move on to the next step. So you've got your landers in, you've got your offer in, you've got your campaign name, your traffic source, everything filled out. You can click save and continue and you can move on to the next step, which is your lander redirect link. And we're gonna cover this in part two, uh, just cause we're running a little bit long here. But that's sort of the basics. Uh, I hope you guys picked something up from that and uh, we'll see you in the next one.